Welcome to Go Okanagan. Well, as you can see, we are up here at Big White, where hundreds of engineering students from all over have gathered to take part in a very Attention special event. Bloggers. They are going to be you racing concrete toboggans we'll uh, well, down the ski hill. And, uh, well, we'll find out all about that coming up on today's show. <laughs> All right, now we're talking to Aiden, the chair of the great, what is it? The Great Northern Concrete Toboggan Race? Yeah, the Great Northern Concrete Toboggan Race, or GNCTR as we like to call it. So you've got teams from all over here. Yeah, teams from all over Canada, and we actually have one entrance from the States. Wow. Um, it's LTU from Michigan. So this is, this is a prestigious event, obviously. Yeah, it's, uh, I, I don't want to say it is, but I think it's the biggest one in Canada for sure, and it's definitely the most energetic. So what are the challenges that they have to face? So basically the sled has to be 300 pounds or less. Uh, it has to have concrete running surface, so that's anything that touches the snow. So that's all your skis or runners, whatever you want to do, a slab. Uh, it has to have a superstructure, so roll cage, has to have steering, braking, and all of it has to be designed and tested uh, with modeling for up to 80k an hour impact. 80k an hour impact. We're not going to see that today, are we, with the, with the rain and wet snow? No, the, the fastest speed I've clocked today is uh, 46 kilometers an hour. Still, that's pretty impressive. Yeah, it's still, it's still going pretty fast for a sled, so it's, uh, it's a pretty wild ride when you're inside one of those. So obviously, I mean, we got there's a lot of spirit here, a lot of people out here cheering the teams on. This seems like a really fun event. Yeah, so the event isn't just racing. Uh, it's all about the spirit side of things, and it is the full design process, so all the students have to submit a uh, big tech report and uh, so we're talking about a hundred pages they do all their modeling calculations everything so it is basically like doing a real life project but it's just a really fun application of it I guess that's part of it I eh? just sort of like taking all that engineering knowledge that you've got and applying it in a way that excites you and, and you can have some fun with. exactly and on top of that we throw in the spirit side of things so all the teams have their own themes costumes uh, crazy dances skits chants you name it everyone gets right into the competition and we're about to see some of the head-to-head uh, -head racing taking place here today. Yeah, so in the morning we do the slalom and we do the drag race. And so we get a lot of stats off that. And then in the afternoon we just do straight head-to-head -head knockout. So we just made our bracket from the stats this morning and seated everybody. So it's, this is the fun one. So from here we'll get King of the Hill. That's one of the big, big awards for race day. All right, well, we're going to find out who gets crowned King of the Hell coming up later on the show. Thanks very much, Aiden. Yeah, no worries. Take care. Nice run there, Team Dalhousie. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, oh. a real come from behind. Yeah. <laughs> What's the secret to your acceleration there? A lot of weight. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> ah, have you, so, so poutine before the race, right? Yes. Lots. <laughs> Hey Stephanie, so how does that feel? Amazing. What's the secret to your uh, to your tobogganing success? Do you think? Um, I don't know. We've done a few different things this year. We uh, asked some big white people what the best wax to use for this kind of weather is, so we oh, got that okay. kind of in. Also, we had a really effective braking system. So. So using that home field advantage, getting some oh, knowledge yeah. from the big white staff. Yeah, we came up here a week early to test and did a few test runs, so oh, we knew what was up. Well done, well done. Thank well, you. congratulations on that. Now I guess you're heading. In into the, some of the final races here. Oh yeah, we're, we're on call up again next, so. All right, well, good luck. All right, thanks so much. Nice to meet you. All right, well, there we have it. UBC Okanagan, the home team. Woo! Well, it has all come down to this, the Battle of Calgary. We've got the UFC versus Sate. Uh, in the final run, getting ready to come streaking down the hill behind us here. See who's going to take the GNCTR Championship in 2015. The teams are off! And there it is, the University of Calgary has taken the championship. The, the, the crowds are streaming down to congratulate the, the winning team. Well, here we are with the victorious University of Calgary GNTR sled team. 
And we're talking to a very energized uh, Captain Kirk, Kate Kirkland. So how did that feel coming down there? You guys look like you've got some good speed. Uh, we had wicked speed. <laughs> I think we were going so fast, I couldn't even believe it. So uh, what what all goes into this uh, design of this kind of thing? I mean, it's a lot of work, right? <laughs> hundreds and hundreds of hours really? of work, yeah. We started construction or designing in September. And, wow. Yeah, we've been building ever since. Congratulations. Thank you. Great work. And uh, that's it for the show. I'm Doug Brown. We'll see you next time. I'll go at Calgary. Woo!